welcome to my setup tour 2022 um i recorded a bunch of footage last night and i feel like i didn't really explain it that well so i'll just use that as b-roll so you can see what my setup looks like at night but here is the daytime view with all the lights on the rest of my room um if you guys want a full room tour let me know by commenting on this video because i have a lot of cool stuff around my room that i used to decorate it and match the view of my setup so but um I'm just going to go through my setup from left to right and I'll go over all the details like my PC specs and yeah and everything so it should be fun <laughs> all right so let's get started all right so first we're starting in this little corner which is pretty messy but um normally it's better than this I just have been lazy <laughs> I'm starting off with this this is from color it's actually sent this by BZ future and I absolutely love it next we have this little digital clock thingy which um the time is right and it's currently 1 20 p.m um i just woke up so that's why i sound like this <laughs> but i got this from aliexpress i will leave a link in the description next up we have this controller it's this is by razor um i usually don't play controller games but i got this for stardew valley <laughs> yep i'm i'm just built like that i guess over here in this little tray we have this little snorlax which i got this from a friend and then um Here's the camera lid. Um, here's these little keycaps that I've been making. I'll do a full keycap collection tour because I have a bunch um, that I've been making in my keyboard build video, so you'll see that soon. And this little plate I made myself at a pottery barn. Okay, here's my camera. Um, normally it's up there. Okay, that, that's a lie. Normally it's not up there. Normally it's just in its case because I like to take it with me and stuff. But this is what I used to record sometimes. Right now I'm using my phone. I feel like the mic quality is a little bit better but it is the canon eos mark ii and it's in white so very fitting right um here's just a candle from bath and body works that i would so it smells good here's a bunch of toys i have from friends oh actually okay this minecraft flower i made myself on stream check me out twitch.tv slash aesthetic um this i don't even know where it's from i think my sister got me this big max this is from aliexpress a little lego figure I made myself at the Lego store. These are from friends. And um, they just sit on my desk. There's the rest of my plushies from friends. <laughs> okay, so my desk is the Salogen countertop paired with two IKEA Alex drawers. Everything's from IKEA. The other Alex drawer you can't really see, but it's on the side. But it's held up really well. I have a little Adil's leg in the middle, so there's more support. Next, I'll we'll go to this part. So this is from Colorlight. They sent this over to me and it's in one of my previous videos. So you can look there for me putting it together. Um, this is their triangle panels. These look so pretty. I love it so much. The customizability on the app is pretty good, except there's this one bug where I have to keep remaking my, my custom presets. So that's kind of annoying, but that's fine. Okay, over here we have this little camera mount and attached to this I have a camera wall plug so my camera can stay charging while mounted if I ever use this and and I connect my camera using the Elgato Streamlink Camlink uh, I'm like really bad at remembering names so I will just leave everything on the screen or in the description so okay, um more camera stuff we have my Logitech C920 I have had this for years and whenever I'm too lazy to set up my camera I would just go back to this it's pretty good I feel like every streamer ever has this so <laughs> Then I have this little clip-on ring light. I used to have a bigger one, but it was just so annoying because there was nowhere for me to put it. So I ended up just getting a smaller one. The bigger one just sits in the corner now. <laughs> Next up, we have my mic. I don't know how I would live without this mic, okay? This mic is actually the best mic ever. Not sponsored, not ad, but it matches my setup so perfectly. Like it's RGB, it's white. It's just so perfect. And watch this. Bam, I'm muted now. Like. I think it's just such a well-made mic and aesthetics wise, function wise, it's just really good. It's the HyperX Quadcast S in white. And I was so glad when I found that they made a white version because I've been waiting for so long. I was literally Googling tutorials on how to spray paint the black one because I wanted it so badly. But good timing, I got it. So I have my mic equipped on a InnoGear mic arm and this is actually black, but I spray painted it white and I mean, obviously the spray paint job wasn't amazing, but it gets the job done. You get the point. And I also wrapped some white flowers from Amazon on this. 
just to make it look a little more pretty um i'm gonna have everything in an amazon storefront for whatever i got from amazon and if it's not from amazon it will be still in the description so make sure you check that out all right so next we have my monitors now i've been wanting white monitors for a long time but it is quite the investment <laughs> So I am still waiting for that. These are the Scepter 24 inch curves gaming monitors. It's 144 hertz, 1920 by 1080 resolution. And they are both on. Okay, hi. I have re recorded this part like four times now. My camera just ran out of storage and I just didn't realize. <laughs> but uh, both my monitors are set up on this Vivo dual monitor mount. And there's some Gobi. I feel like they're called RG. BIC lights, but I could be wrong. I will just link them below, but these lights have like this ability where you can just put any color on any strand of light. So I can make like that part pink and that part like purple, I don't know. But I have that on my mount and I also have it along my desk. It goes all the way around. The only annoying thing about these lights is I guess the adhesive is not that good. So it keeps falling off, which is kind of sad, but I decided next time I get these types of lights, I'm just gonna get like um, proper reusable ones that are like coated and stuff, so I don't have this issue anymore where they're just sticking out all the time. Hopefully that will help and I won't have to keep buying new ones every every three months. <laughs> now onto my desk, um, I have this beautiful, uh, gorgeous, amazing mouse pad. This is like actually the love of my life. Like literally, I am so happy with this mouse pad. It does not fit my aesthetic. There's like nothing that can fit my aesthetic better than this. Um, this was for a group buy on Mech Keys. I will leave the link in the description. They don't sell any more, but they have some similar variants that you guys can look at. They had so many different colors, and they're all gorgeous, and I'm just so happy with this. Like, oh my gosh. Next, we have my keyboard, which I actually built myself recently, and there will be a video on it really soon. Um, I'm hoping I'll put it within the month. And pretty much, I built the keyboard. The parts are from Glorious. Keycaps are from Etsy. Um, this is from Glorious, this little cable thing. This cable bite is from AliExpress. It is so cute. It's a little sleeping Pokemon. Um, what's up? What else? What else? These keycaps are from Etsy. This one I actually made myself. <laughs> I will show you my keycap collection soon, I promise. Um, this is from Logitech, part of their Aurora collection. It is so cute. I just had to get it. I've never used a wrist dress, but I saw it and I was like, all right. Looks like, looks like I need this. <laughs> These are kale white box switches and... They sound so good. They're just so cookie. And I also have this Logitech Super Light. Love this mouse too. I've been wanting a good white wireless mouse, and this is just it. This is perfect. Next, we have my headset, which is by Steel Series. I think this is Steel Series 7. I got this from a friend, and I also put these little um, wraps on it. So. It just looks cuter, a little texture on it. So they're little marble wraps that go all around. I don't know where I got the skins from, but I will leave the link in the description. I also have a skin right here on my Elgato stream deck. Um, the icons were free. I have to find the link to it, but they're so pretty. I haven't used this thing that much, but I have to start using it more. It's actually so helpful. All right, so that's pretty much it for my desk. Now onto this beauty, which you probably guys have never seen before. This is a new part to my setup. I just got it recently um, from Secret Lab themselves, which is such an honor because I have thought their chairs were like the most beautiful chairs in the whole world for the longest time. And now that I have one, I'm just like in disbelief. And in this color, like hello. Um, so if you guys didn't know, Secret Lab just released a new soft weave chair, which is soda purple. This isn't sponsored, but they did send it to me. So I did want to put in a few words. And I love it so much. Um, you can move these any way you want. Same goes on the other side. There's literally a magnetic pillow. There's nothing on this. And I could just throw it and it just sticks. Like what? Um, the color is absolutely gorgeous. It is soda purple. Matches my entire setup color scheme. And I think it's just amazing. It can also lean back, which I find it perfect for like just cozy gaming when I'm leaning back. Thanks to Stardew. I think it's just great. So thank you so much to Secret Lab for sending me this. I am so honored and so grateful. Um, I'm just gonna go over my PC up here first, some decor before I go into the actual PC specs. So this is the Lego Cherry Blossom set. I just bought this from a friend, which I love it so much. There's actually lights in it, but uh, don't tell them I accidentally broke it. I kind of ripped the wire while trying to take it out. <laughs> 
Um, hopefully I can get a replacement because it looks gorgeous when it's lit up. This little kitty thingy I got from AliExpress. Um, then I have some wires and stuff that I use often. So here is just a USB-C to USB cable. Cause I like to use my external storage on my Mac as well. So I like to plug that in some now, every now and then. Works great. Right. Um, I have also this little three-way USB thing which is really helpful, helps me like get my editing moved and stuff. Um, the storage is from Toshiba, no, the store yeah. Storage is from Toshiba, it is one terabyte, really helpful. So I could just move my files and whatever, whenever I need. Um, this little corner is my vanity area. Um, I do actually have some really cool plans to make this area bigger. So what I'm planning on doing, I'll just share right now, is I wanna have this entire thing, a tabletop, and then some more drawers here for some more storage. Gonna move this onto this tabletop and then my desk is going to just have more space and I'll be able to fit a third monitor in, which I have plans to get a white one and then hopefully I'll spray paint these. And I have these lights from Amazon and I just have a bunch of pictures of my friends, a bunch of perfumes and stuff, which I'll include in the room tour if you guys even wanna see that. Um, I have my own merch mug holding all my makeup brushes, which is kind of funny. I also have this from D Boom. I got this as a birthday gift. Love it a lot. Um, usually it's on, but I guess I forgot to plug it in. Here's like a quick overview of my keycaps. I made all of these, which is kind of crazy to think about. Really came a long way. <laughs> um, let's see. Here's some pretty ones I got. I have this one. Here are my fails too. <laughs> I like to keep them all for their memories. These ones are so cute. I love these ones. I will go over all of these in the keyboard build video, which will hopefully be up soon. I have it all recorded, I just set it up. One of the main parts of the setup, my gorgeous PC. Um, I actually have a video building this PC and this PC is the love of my life. It costs way too much money, but I love it so much, it is unreal. So, so this is first of all a Corsair case, so beautiful. And inside I have some Corsair fans on all sides. I got these, I designed these um, fan grills and I got them printed which is actually really cool to me. I've been back there as well. NZXT cooler, um, Asus ROG Strix motherboard, some Corsair RAM, a, and then the specs are in i9-12900K, hopefully I said that right. And I have a 3080Ti graphics card in here by Gigabyte. What else is in here? Oh, I have the Lian Lee uh, streamer cables. Oh, I, I missed one thing. So as you can see, there's like green lights. Over, these are actually like um, Aurora lights. It's just so hard to see because it's like light out. But that is by this little galaxy projector over here, which at night, it looks so beautiful. I'll put in some pictures. Um, it really just amps up my whole setup. So definitely worth. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it, I think. I'll leave everything in the description. So feel free to check it out. I'll have a link to my Amazon storefront, which will have links to all of these. And you guys can check it out for yourselves.